Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great content every week. Don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Sorry guys, I, I didn't I didn't expect that. <laughs> Not to put to not to not to put to 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 I was thinking about me so many people, mama. Okay, I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, 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 I'm Apology to viewers. On November 15th, 2020, we broadcast a live broadcast. In that video, a third party altered words, for which we apologized then and still do to them wholeheartedly. We have never and will never insult any leader and we shall continue to hope according to the cultures and traditional upbringing of our nation. The circulating video has been edited and we shall provide the full video to the police at an appropriate time. The journey to political liberation is not and will never be an easy one. Our resolve to shield justice from unjust and unfair attacks on individuals and institutions remains strong. May God bless us all and we soldier on. MCN, 3rd May 2021. Good afternoon everybody and welcome. I know many of you have called me and have asked me a lot of questions regarding the purported video that is going around and circulating. Thank you for your concerns. Thank you for your comments. I want to make certain things categorically clear. Number one. I have never insulted a leader. Never. Never ever insulted a leader. My mother brought me up well. My father brought me up well. I have never insulted any leader. That is number one. Number two, I was not at any political event on Saturday. I think all of you know where I was supposed to be on Saturday. And I told you what happened on Saturday. I was not at any political event on Saturday. So any video circulating or purporting that I was at a political event on Saturday, insinuating that I insulted the head of state or anybody for that matter, is absolutely false, malicious, and untrue. Thirdly, there is no way we are going to make a judgment of an activity in a seven-second video. There is just no way. You cannot make judgment of a seven-second video. At the appropriate time, I shall provide you with the full video of what transpired that day. Now, which day was that? For the record, those of you who claim to be lawyers, those of you who may be lawyers, those of you who are interested in knowing and under understanding what may be going on, is that the purported video was recorded on November 15th, 2020. November 15th, 2020. It was a public event. It was a public rally. And those of you that follow my page, you know me better than that. You know me better than that. And the activities that happened on that day, 
for which I already rendered an apology for the inappropriateness of some of the people that budged into the interview. That was already rendered. I have never insulted anybody who is my leader. I have begged them. I have asked them to dialogue. I have asked them to even do the right thing according to democracy. So for those that are calling for my arrest, I just want to say thank you for that. I appreciate you doing that. Um, this nation belongs to all of us, not to a few people. I have never insulted and I will never insult a head of state or any leader. I am not like that. I am not like that. And even in that same video that is being uh, moved from place to place, did I say a word? Did I say a word? How do you say Mubita Nawa has insulted? Did I say a word? I didn't. How can you make a decision to arrest Mubita Nawa on a seven second video? I have never insulted anybody and I will never do that. I am aggrieved about so many things that relate to democracy, freedoms of speech, and I've been very consistent in communicating my grievances, my displeasure, and my disappointment. And for the police, whatever information, whatever information you need from me, I shall provide it to you. I shall provide it timely and in the most appropriate time. Whenever the police need us, we will be there. We have always been there for the police and for the people of Zambia. I want to remind the people of Zambia that there is a clique of people who have sold their souls to the highest bidder. And these people will try by all means to make others suffer, pay the price of their greed and injustice. You've made others to suffer and pay the greed of their injustices. And for that, that shall be seen accordingly to the rules of law. For now, I just wanted to thank you, to reassure you that that video, that video, as edited as it was, <laughs> as edited as it was, the time will come for justice. This is uh, Kenneth says, Kenneth here says, Mobita, you even reprimanded that man uh, on your live. I'm sure the video is available. There is, there, here are people this who follow my work. Okay. Here are people who follow my work. Kenneth was there watching it in November, November 15th. Some of you that want to go, go back to my page, November 15th, and watch that video. Watch that video. Even that word which they have said that me, I said Quidiksha. Go and watch that video and you look for those words Quidiksha and see where I said them and see where those words were placed. I did not insult the president. Honorable Oliver says, um, Sir, just apologize. You laughed out from the insults whether it happened years back. Public leadership will demand. Look, whatever wrongs I've done, I will take full responsibility for it. But there is a context to all of this. They are tying something that happened in the past to something that happened in 2021. Okay. May the good Lord bless you all. I wanted to reassure you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your concerns. I wanted to reassure you uh, that we are okay and we shall provide any information to the police and we shall let this matter run the course of May the good Lord bless you. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed day. And thank you so much. Bye-bye. A video security has come to our attention showing an individual altering an uncouth and vulgar language towards the Republican head of government. The footage is being attributed to our assistant for special duties Mr. Mubita Nawa, we take this matter seriously and the party processes as laid out in our constitution are actively looking into both the content and the context to ensure we get the full picture. As a party, the UPND does not condone aggressive language no matter who it is directed at. 
To date, Mr. Movita Nawa has been a model citizen and remains a valued member of the UPND. Haka Inde Ichlema, UPND President. I do not want you to misunderstand this battle. This is not a battle between I and the Zambian people. No, it's a battle between me and the useless PF government. I love Zambia as a nation and will never ever go into home with a nation that gave me home for seven good years. It's not about me going back to Zambia when PF loses elections. elections. My legs are never ever stepping on Zambian soil anymore. I have nothing to benefit or lose when PF loses elections. All I want is that the people of Zambia must be freed from the mess we have put them into through spiritually imposing a visionless leader on them that has completely destroyed the country beyond repair. Once that is done, I will have peace. Wash my hands off. As for now, I have no peace. I barely sleep at night, looking at the pain that we have caused the innocent people of Zambia. Hashtag Siawan. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.